In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can make fishing lures out of common household items. I made a fishing lure out of a toothbrush, and today I'm gonna to put it to the test in hopes to catch a largemouth bass. To compare to the toothbrush lure, we also have the Hellraiser, which was recommended by a local shop. We're gonna put these two to the test to see which one performs best. No, you did not. You caught a largemouth bass on the toothbrush? Shut up. Well, let's cut straight to it. We're gonna take a toothbrush that looks something like this and turn it into a fishing lure that looks like this and then go fishing with it. Obviously, I had to choose a toothbrush since I'm a dentist, but I'm also gonna show you how to make a fishing lure out of other household items like a screwdriver. And the purpose of this video is just to show you that you yourself can buy a simple kit of treble hooks and eyes and eyelets and start making lures yourself instead of paying the store 10, 15, 20, I've even seen lures for $100, which is absolutely crazy. I mean, you can still catch fish on these simple lures. I mean, I even heard an old wives tale once that said, you can catch a largemouth bass on a piece of rope. That's something I really wanna try though. But for now, let's at least start making our own lures, so let's cut to it. First step, as you guys know, always gotta crack open a fresh Dr. Pepper for this project. In order to make fishing lures at home out of pretty much whatever you want, there's only a few simple tools that you're gonna need. One, you're gonna need this hand piece, and two, you're gonna need treble hooks, and this comes with some attachments, and then three, you're gonna need eyelets, and four is these little eyes that are like stickers. I found that they just kind of fell off, but it's kind of fun if you're doing this with kids, add a little eye to the lure that you made. When using this hand piece, it's super important to put your thumb in the right position. One time I cut my thumb in half with this cutoff blade, and now I don't have feeling in half my thumb because of that. So anytime I'm holding it so that the blade doesn't wrap around and cut me like that, I always shift my thumb further down the object. Yes, you have less of a fulcrum or control, but it's an added safety precaution that I always take. So the first step is just to cut this lure down to size. Guys, this is just a guessing game. I'm just having fun here. You can get as technical as you want with it, and I'm sure you can make lures that are way more beautiful than mine, but for today's video, we're just having fun. After I got my lure cut down to size, I used these little sandpaper end bits that go onto the end of that hand piece. And then I started to profile the edges so that it wasn't just a flat, blunt shape on the end. It kind of added like a nose or a tail type shape to my lure. I kept having this issue where the sandpaper would fall off the end of the bit, but I powered through it and got kind of a feel for it and technique and made it work. Once I got the general profile done, it was time to add the eyelets. And in this case, I was gonna be adding three. I was gonna add one on the very nose and then two along the bottom, right in the middle, and then a third one all the way in the back on the bottom. The back two are gonna be for where we're gonna attach the treble hooks. And then the one on the nose is where we're gonna actually attach our fishing line. So in order to place these eyelets properly, I drilled a pilot hole and I didn't use epoxy or anything. I got really lucky. It just, it was a nice fit that came with this kit of a drill bit and you know I went in there about a quarter of an inch and they screwed in nice and I was able to place those eyelets pretty easily. As you can see my lure came together pretty well. Added the eyes and the treble hooks but before we go start fishing I'm going to show you how to make one out of a screwdriver really really quick. All I did was use an angle grinder to cut off the metal and then basically repeated the process. Drilled pilot holes for the eyelets, put on some treble hooks, she's ready to rip. Real quick let's run over to the tackle store so that we can pick up uh, fun fishing lures so that we can compare the two. All right, man, I need your most expensive lure that you've got in stock because I want to put it up to test against my toothbrush lure. I like it. I think it could work. Who you knows? Think it could work? We, I mean... we got a chance. The longer I look at it, the more <laughs> I'm liking it. Most expensive top water likely going to be the Hellraiser. Now, this is one oh, of man. the most unique ones that I've seen. Now, I'm sure there's more expensive ones out there, but 15 bucks for, uh, for, for the top water side of things on this. One of the most wild, unique sounding and looking presentations. Mimics what a lizard looks like in the water, that very tight wobble, tight presentation to it. A lot of flash coming off the bladed uh, weighted bait in the back. Makes a lot of noise. I mean, with a name like that, I think we gotta go with the Hellraiser. All right, dude. $3 toothbrush versus $15 Hellraiser. Let's put them to work.
Alright dude, put her in the water, let's see how it swims. Oh, it sinks surprisingly. I thought the toothbrush would definitely float. I think it looks pretty good moving through the water. Give it another cast, let's check it out. Kind of throw it like a normal bait. Oh, that thing's got some movement on it. All right, man. All right, so Gunner's got the Hellraiser on. Give her a cast, let's see that thing. Oh yeah, she's got some action. All right, dude. Who do you think's gonna catch a fish first, you or me? Mm, probably me. Probably you, I agree, but let's go try. You ready? Yeah. Let's do this. All right, guys, this rod and reel is total overkill for bass fishing, but we're still gonna have fun with it. Get some pretty good casts on this thing. Gunner, what do you think? Are we gonna catch a fish with this? Uh, I think we're gonna catch something. For sure. Well, two casts in, I still haven't caught a fish. Time to go home, I guess. Not gonna lie, guys, this lure doesn't look that great in the water. I don't love the presentation, but uh, hey, I think I'm gonna be determined we're gonna get something with it. So I'm gonna stick with it. Working myself around this pond hopefully catch a fish before gunner does i just don't see it happening but that hellraiser makes a ton of noise and action compared to my little toothbrush i don't know i see some turtles over here i like the way this looks seems like the pond is always better on the other side Look at all those little turtles. So cool. I mean, that looks like bass habitat to me. I'm gonna try casting over on this side. I'm hearing more fish jump over here than I am on the side that we started at. This looks pretty fishy over here. I'm gonna try and keep it out of these trees that are in the water. Something you don't see in every state is a, beware of alligator. Please do not feed the wildlife $500 fine. So a little gator when we got here, haven't seen another one since. Gunner City might have ran into one, but definitely keeping our eye out for the gators. Normally they're like hanging out kind of in the middle. Yeah, but I don't know, dude, those gator signs, I wonder if the gators are eating all the fish in here. You see those signs? Yeah. Any hits? Maybe it's the wrong time of day, wrong pond, I don't know. I think we should come back like Hit another pond like towards sunset, you know? What do you think? Yeah. All right, guys, that didn't work out. So we're gonna load up in the truck and go to another pond that Gunner knows about. We're at spot number two, and this is private property, but we are allowed to be here. And this is Gunner's favorite spot. He said he likes to catch what? Salmon here? Huh? What? Bass, bluegill, any tilapia? Dude, that lure looks so good on top of the water. Let's see. Yeah, there's a turtle. Who's that? That was a fish of some sort, I think. Let me try and throw that thing once. What? You caught one? Nah. -uh. You caught one on the toothbrush? No, you did not. I did, I did. did you have your GoPro on? No, it, di it died. Dude! I cast it right there. Shut up. Is it that turtle? No, it was a fish. It Are was, you freaking kidding me? It was on the bank. It was on the, was it a bass? Yeah, it was on the bank. Shut it was, up. It was like this big. 
Oh, we got to get him. Dude, I was going to be so mad if you got a fish in that thing before me. Dang it, bro. We'll keep trying to get him. No. -uh. You got one? No, you did not. You caught a largemouth bass on the toothbrush? Shut up. No, you did not. Dude, you caught a largemouth bass on the freaking toothbrush lure. I mean, he's not big, but hey, dude, that counts. Fire me up. You beat the freaking Hellraiser. Hold that baby up. Heck yeah, brother. That's so sick. Well, dude, I, I think you need to release him. Give me time. What's that? Oh, the, you want to try the screwdriver now? Yeah. All right. That's so sick, bro. Let's go. All right, let's get the screwdriver out. We'll put the screwdriver on this pole, and we'll put the toothbrush on your pole. What do you think? Yeah. All right, Gunner and I decided we're going to just go toothbrush and flathead screwdriver at this point and see what happens. I really, really want to get a good clip of us catching these fish on my GoPro. All right, I've got the screwdriver lure. This one's a little bit heavier, so it's probably gonna sink or like crankbaity, but hey, you never know. Wow, that thing cast far. Oh, that thing's got a ton of action. Oh, dude, I'm on the other bank. Now it's a battle of the toothbrush versus the screwdriver. Any more luck? Nothing? We need to get you a nice rod and reel, brother. This, this ain't it. Is this your nice one? Got a little tree situation going on. Didn't catch anything on the screwdriver. That's all right. Well guys, I'm so excited. The toothbrush lure outperformed the Hellraiser. I'm absolutely in shock. But hey, I thought I'd throw up a different type of video today because make that channel that you've always dreamed about making about anything you want. I post videos about teeth. I post videos about fishing, about cars, all sorts of stuff whatever I want. I mean, that's the beauty of having a channel is you can post videos about whatever you want. And to be honest, I just do it because I love videography and editing and just the whole process of it. So get out there and start making videos yourself too.